Spider-Man Crawl Space Edition. Please come check us out at spidermancrawlspace.com. So how's everybody doing? Sorry I've been gone a couple weeks here besides issues and everything. And as you can see, I'm still lacking a little green screen effects. They will be back up and running in time for Superior Spider-Man number 21. But in the meantime, let's talk about Superior Spider-Man number 20, which was so hyped up about all the big changes of issue 19. Changes, yes. Let's get to the pros. First of all, the artwork by Gamco is just fantastic. I think this is one of his strongest issues he's ever drawn and everything. I mean, I love the colors, the detail, everything. All the characters have unique looks. The action works really well, and it's just fantastic. And I also love how the fact that he's gotten so many members going out and supporting cast. Anne-Marie, of course, still continues to be probably one of the best cast members that's created. And I get that it's Dan Slott's creation and everything, but it works very well. However, moving away from that, there are a lot of cons. First of all, with the black cat. Now, they have been moving her towards more of that whole little back to the burglar, burglar and everything else. But however, everything she's done the last couple of years, this kind of like crosses that line where Otto pretty much decides to, you know, knock her down, knock out a tooth and everything else. And her response is, you'll pay for this spider, mark my words. Instead of, I don't know who you are, but you are not Spider-Man. Duh. Let's move on to the next major con. Now, many of you know, I am a graduate student. I'm actually in the doctorate program myself. Now, there are different ones between thesis and dissertations and a couple other things. <sighs> the whole defense of thesis here done for Otto and everything and how Lamaz gets him and everything about the unpublished work and how he's plagiarizing and everything, it's just horrible. Because, I mean, Lamez isn't even set up as not being an advisor or anything else. And he basically is a speaker, which means there's no way he would actually have plout. And when he says about how it had to have his good old friend, Otto Octavius, unless he's got that paperwork unpublished or anything, he has nothing to prove it. Otto could have done it perfectly. Plus, some of the stuff Otto is using about using nano with artificial limbs helping and stuff. Not to mention his 3D holographical technology he uses and he talks about for two hours. As that buzzer just sounded, no, it's so bad. It is just makes me so upset and everything going on right now with the business loan. I officially get what they're trying to do. When Superior Spider-Man's all over, Peter Parker has to completely start all over again. Very few people are going to trust him in the superhero community or the public. He's going to be known as a menace. Half the supporting cast member is not going to want to talk to him because he's alienated everybody. His aunt is probably going to still support him and maybe his, you know, and Jay, Jonas, Jonas Sr., but <sighs> it's bad. It's just bad. And I could keep going on here and everything else, but this issue after everything, plus there's no follow-up with the Goblin Nation. There's no follow-up with the memories of Peter Parker returning and the real Peter Parker. There's a lot of stuff that's not done here. It's just... It's mostly all set up. The best part is what saves it is the return of Stunner, which, you know, a lot of us have been waiting for 15 years, and her coming back actually makes plenty of sense. Because some people were wondering, how did she come out of her coma? Well, she got in that coma to help resurrect Otto. So if he technically body died again, wouldn't her come back? That's one thing they always established a long time ago in Daredevil is when the hand resurrected people, the lives they exchanged, what happened if that person never really died or was an incomplete process? wasn't that life force go back to that person. So the setup for Stunner returning is really good. However, it also marks up another thing. Where is Caroline Trainer? Her mentor, the person she idolized, basically was in love with him, though Otto, you know, has been shown, did not feel that way about to her, but he was always, you know, very romantic and very caring to people like Aunt May and to Stunner and to Caroline Trainer and Anne Marie here and a couple other people that, you know, shows the much better part of Otto Octavius. However, where is she? I'm hoping she's going to show up, but I don't know. So we'll just leave it at that. But either way, this gets a C. I can't give it a C plus. I'm too upset with the dissertation and some of the other buildup they did with Maz and a couple other things. Because the truth is, you are on Otto's side. But the setup and what's done is just not really good. And I would give this a higher grade, even with the artwork and some of the other wonderful things, especially with Anne Marie. But things would... Mary Jane even, and Carly once again. I want to give the Avengers because, you know, they didn't believe that Spider-Man couldn't be the wrong person either and everything else, but hey, they'll do something with the evidence. <laughs> no. Anyway, 
I give it a C. And on that note, I think I have done a little too much on this review for this time. Sorry to say and everything, but I will be back with issue 21, back with green screen and some other fun stuff because I'll be bringing back one of my favorite reviews on one of my favorite 90s Spider-Man villains with Stunner. Until then, everybody, I'll see you on the crawl space. See you later.